Welcome back, rusty electricity lovers. And what have I done here? So, I've built a power meter. If you haven't got a counter, why use a counter when you can have one of these? For your input of your windmill or solar panels, or combined, if you like. And what this shows is the total incoming power to your battery. So, let me explain what's happening here. I've got 10 lights here from red to green. And I've got them subdivided up into 12 incoming power increments. You can do 13-ish, something like that. You could, it's all about calibration. If you're only having six lights, you need to modify these uh, branches in a different way. You can see each one here. I've got it set to 12, 12, all the way along. So... For every 12 power that comes in from this windmill, which goes straight, I've only got this counter here, so you can see 96 power coming in, and you can see where this is at. That's all that's for. If you've got a counter, effectively, you don't need this, but this is more fun. Uh, 92 coming in, goes straight into the first branch. It pulls 12 power to the branched out of the branch. Now, I'm assuming you know how branches work with this. If you're not sure how they work, Watch some of my other electricity videos uh, to explain that. The overflow then goes to the next branch, which is also pulling 12. And the same goes on for all of these. So if you know electricity in Rust, you can work out that it's, it's taking away 12, 12, 12, 12. Eventually, depending on the power coming in, which is sitting at 89 now, it's going down. Hence, we're out of that green area now. Ignore my phone dinging in the background. Um, we are now down to this top white light. And the more the power goes up, the more it kicks in the next branch. You can see from the power coming underneath this, if I put my white all on. So there's only two coming in there. 28, 41. See, it's slowly sectioning it off, which I thought, hey, I can make a power meter for that. The only problem is... The power is completely wasted. So how have I got around that? So obviously each one of these branches is using uh, one power, absorbing it as you like. And so are these lights. So it is a bit inefficient. You are going to lose 10, 20 power from this. But let's assume you've got power to spare. You're just having fun in Rust. You want some new electrical circuits, as we all do. Who doesn't? So all the power that comes out of these lights which is obviously, if I'm sectioning off 12 a time, is another 11 for all the ones that are powered. I've got coming down here, and all these green cables all overlaid each other, and I'm pumping them in these cheap little small batteries. So they are all charging. As you can see here, this one's got 25, this one's got 97, this one's got 99. So obviously as that, for, that goes down, the later ones of these don't get any charge. And the output of these, I've got root com combined, combined if you like, all the way back to one, which goes back into your large battery. And that charges it. So you've got extra capacity here for uh, charge to last if your wind power or your solar panel is abysmal for a day or two. Wow, that's an atrociously placed line. Ignore that, people. One issue is you will hit the depth or it warns you of like a short circuit or depth error. And that's because I've got so many combiners. You're allowed to have 15 components all the way through. Now, this exceeds this. You can see here I've got 10 here. Because of the way branches work, it doesn't always count them in the way you'd expect but trust me if you try and have 10 batteries here with the amount of root combiners you need to put all the power of those 10 back in that battery you're going to hit this short circuit limit which i can i can show you i'll show you the error that comes up just here to get around it i've had to lose the very last battery so the maximum i'm going to get for charging in here is 90 which is currently 
uh, what it's oh no it's hitting 50 now because obviously we've got such a low power coming in and these batteries are slowly discharging so if this power dropped instantly to nothing these batteries would discharge into the large battery giving it a bit of further life so it does assist in that but it's a bit of fun and uh, you get a fully fledged power gauge in light format which um, was quite fun to design if you've got any uh, improvements or ways we can get around this combining issue here I would gladly uh, appreciate the comments and uh, hope you enjoyed this little fun but still useful uh, function in rust that you can do with electricity and uh, with that hope to see you again thanks for popping in cheers